All right, Nick, let me give you a phrase that you probably haven't heard in a while, especially if you're a Jaguars fan. Road win. Big time road win, okay? Dominating performance against this little team, you know, who has one of the best offenses and defenses in the NFL coming into the season called the Los Angeles Chargers. No small task, okay? So I am going to give the Jaguars all the props here. Dominating performance both sides of the ball, okay? Defense held the Chargers to 10 points, even though Justin Herbert, little banged up. Nonetheless, he went in, he decided to play. They held them to almost a non-existent amount of rushing yards, uh, limited them in the passing game, very, very much so. And they were dominant offensively, putting up 38 points. This was a team win by the Jaguars, and there were so many good players. And Jags fans, we got to know in the comments below, who's your MVP for the game? Was it James Robinson? Was it Trevor Lawrence? Zay Jones was, you know, uh, Devin Lloyd, the rookie. He had a pretty big game as well. Uh, let us know in the comments below who your MVP for the game was. But Nick, let's get into the Jaguars. Yeah, so my MVP, I think it's got to be Doug Peterson, right? Because he was brought in to change the culture, to change the environment. Because this team did have some talent. They brought in some guys in the offseason. But they didn't have like a sort of mass of people, right? They kind of, with the core group they've had, they added some pieces and just kind of built on that. But really trying to get better at coach. And we've seen it, right, the first three weeks of the season. They're 2-1. and one. They were in first place in the AFC South. And to your point, my CBS uh, was the first one to note this, that the Jaguars have won a road game for the first time since 2019. Wow. That's just unbelievable to go that long. Obviously, it's been a rough stretch for the Jaguars for the last few years, but the tide has totally turned. And to me, when I look at this Chargers game, everyone may say, oh, Herbert was hurt or whatever. Listen, Herbert, was, was if he was hurt, you wouldn't have known it because he went, made like multiple big time throws that he kind of just normally makes on a game by game basis. I think like a crazy third and 15 to Guyton. That was just a monster play. So this wasn't like a banged up second rate Jacksonville Jaguars, the um, Los Angeles Chargers team, the Jaguars beat. The Jaguars came to L.A. and physically beat them up on both sides of the football. Trevor Lawrence played well. They were out. Uh, they out coached the Chargers, outplayed, out executed all phases of the game. We saw this against the Colts last week and we thought well maybe it was just an aberration the Jaguars seemed to own the Colts but now if they followed up with this massive road win this is a Jaguars team that could really be a threat in the AFC yeah no uh this Jaguars team kind of you know frightening to look at them you think okay last year Trevor Lawrence with Urban Meyer eh, he wasn't that impressive and people questioned a little bit okay is this the guy right this year Trevor Lawrence looks pretty dang good. 262 yards, three touchdowns, and get this, 28 of 39. Pretty good completion percentage to boot. So, I mean, he looked good today. He looked very sharp against this. And I'm going to reiterate this. A Chargers defense that has looked pretty monstrous. Obviously, you got Joey Bosa. You got Cleo Mack. got J.C. Jackson, a ball hawk. Uh, you know, Derwin James, these are all real big playmakers. Uh, and here's the crazy part, Nick. They kept Trevor Lawrence clean. No sacks by the Chargers today. The, the Jaguars are doing it, man. Oh, and it's up. You bring, bring up the point, right? It's up front. It's not like they're just winning because Lawrence is balling out or because they have a couple key playmakers. They're doing it up front in the trenches, too. Like you said, zero sacks. But how about the offensive defensive lines? You kind of alluded to it. The Chargers only ran for 26 yards the entire game, 2.2 yards per carry. That's dominant. But the Jacksonville Jaguars ran for 151 yards. Uh, over four score, uh, over four per carry, and obviously Robinson had that long touchdown run on a short yardage situation. So this is not just a team that's winning because of you know maybe special teams or a great game by the quarterback. This is a total team win. They're winning in the trenches. They're out physicaling their opponents. We've seen the last two weeks. And if I'm a Jaguars fan, I'm, legitimately right now, I would be extremely excited because the AFC South. We've seen it. The Titans aren't as good as people thought they would be. The Texans are the Texans, right? This is a division that is really winnable, especially that you already got one win against the Colts. So right now, as a Jaguars fan, three weeks in the season, I'm sitting here thinking I may have a chance at winning the AFC South.